started. This next guy. Now, there's a lot of guys in the world. You got your ugly guys, your fat guys, your skinny guys, your tall guys. There's only one Geechee guy. How about that for Geechee guy? Boy, is it tall, thin, and goofy in here? Or is it just me? I can step here forever. I got so much stuff, it's not even funny. It is comedy time. Our returning champion made his first appearance as a juggler at the age of six. Twenty years later, he's got a whole new act. He better. He's going for win number three. Here's Geechee Guy. And Hollywood's hottest new comic is... Geechee Guy! Officials from the Guinness Book of World Records were in the improv audience for one particular comic. Geechee Guy set a new world's record for most jokes told in one hour, 676. My old school R&B station has been sending me mixed signals. I don't know if I'm supposed to get down on it or get up off of that thing. Get down on it. Okay. Get up off of that thing! Sorry. Get down on it! Okay. Get up off of that thing! Comedy champion, Geechee Guy! The next gentleman was recently voted Hollywood's hottest new comic. He's been seen right here on Comic Strip Live, a forum for just such people. And he's also been seen on Star Search. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Geechee Guy. <laughs> have with us a gentleman who was in town last night as the opening act for the Righteous Brothers performed at the Grand Ole Opry House. Uh, he's been seen on virtually every national comedy show. He has uh, played just all the clubs and the arenas from coast to coast. Very popular comedic act. Please welcome Geechee Guy. Yeah. My next guest, a very funny guy. Uh, he can be seen opening for Rita Rudner at the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas, February 29th through March 13th, and at the Riviera Comedy Club in Las Vegas, March 18th through the 24th. Please welcome Geechee Guy. My sister broke her arm. That's not funny. What happens kind of funny, though, she was using a payphone and she didn't have any change, so she went up to a guy and said, Can you break this? And, um, he didn't see the dollar. <laughs> she had to get rushed to the hospital. You know what she said? She said, there's nothing worse than being rushed to the hospital. And that didn't make sense to me. I mean, I would think like being moseyed to the hospital might be worse, or, or being lollygagged to the hospital, or dilly-dallied. I think I'd rather be rushed than have them stopping at garage sales. I'm, I'm in the back with a concussion, and they're going, look, Otis, only a quarter. I had a birthday recently. I got some weird stuff for my birthday. I got I got an AM radio. That was stupid. I'm never even up that early. <laughs> One time we were driving through a construction zone, and there was this sign that said speed limit 35 ahead, and there was four of us. <laughs> so, so we were basically through there in no time. So. Good thing I wasn't on a bus. I, um... I saw a commercial the other day about Geo, the Geo car, and they're talking about how cool the Geo is. And at the end of the commercial, um, this guy's voice comes on and says, if this car had wings, it could fly. <laughs> well, no kidding. <laughs> you know? If I had wings, I could fly. That doesn't make sense. If this car had pontoons, it could float. <laughs> This car had eyeballs that could look at stuff. I mean, you could sit there for hours talking about all the stuff it could do if it had different stuff. You know? Why don't you buy some more network airtime and tell me what it's incapable of? I fly out of town tomorrow. I, I hate flying. Do you like it? I, I don't mind being up there and like even the coming down part, but you know the part I hate the most? The landing. I mean the actual fraction of a second that the plane hits the ground, the landing, that scares me. Because if you think about it, 
approximately, I don't know what, 100% of all plane crashes occur when the plane, you know, hits the ground there? Am I wrong? Okay. Um, give or take a percent. How's that? But I'll bet you it's in the 90s. I'm going to sign an endorsement deal with Nike next week. Yeah, they're going to give me a whole bunch of money. All I have to do is promise never to wear any of their shit ever. <laughs> Just don't do it. I went bungee jumping. That was cool. They, they had two where I went. They had a 200-footer and a 150-footer, so I went on the little one. Because you tell your friends you went, they don't say how high was it. You know, they don't care. As long as it was high enough to kill you if it broke. That's pretty much it. You know, how high was it? I don't know. It could have died. And, um, well, what's weird is you jump off this crane, literally jump off a crane, and it looks like you're going to squish right into the ground, and then you don't. So that's the cool part. That's, that's right where your money kicks in, too, right at that point, if you think about it, because, well, you can pretty much jump off a crane for nothing, really. I mean, you, you don't have to go to the state fair to do it. Actually, I'm married, and my wife is saving up to put me through hell. <laughs> We've been together 15 years. I haven't even so much as looked at another woman. I'm that discouraged. <laughs> My parents are cool. My dad's a truck driver. That's pretty neat. Every summer on vacation, we used to go to England and just drive around so he could get his other arm tan. <laughs> driver that's my job to think up goofy stuff like this while you guys work yeah. stuff like where do homeless people have 95 percent of their accidents <laughs> if an armless guy has a gun is he armed <laughs> Intimate crowd, I like that too. I like that. That's a good word too, intimate. It's a showbiz term. You know what it means? It means um, shitty turnout. Yeah. yeah, it's from the Latin. Yeah, but that's the beauty. We're full. I mean, look at this. That, that's the beauty of a coat room. Oh, yeah, that was not lost on us, baby. Yeah, that was no accident. I mean, if we were in the pavilion next door, we'd look like a booger. That's the thing. 3,000 people, but as it is, we are, you can hardly get a seat. It's all relative. You know, if we were in a tram, you'd be sold out. It's all relative. I only play trams and coat rooms and minivans and airport shuttles and um, photo mats, phone booths, because it's a numbers game. How are you doing? Selling out? How many? 27. I had my very first job working for the village of Rochester, Michigan, but then they became a city and they fired me. Yeah. Well, who ever heard of a city idiot? <laughs> I saw a show on A&E. This was great. This guy got, it was a documentary. This guy got stabbed in the heart. And, and it, it, he was fine. It, they, it, every, it went, didn't hit the right spots and everything was fine. And they interviewed him. And you know what he said in the interview? He said, I am the luckiest man in the world. That's what he said. Yeah, and you know what I was thinking? I was thinking, what about all of us people who never got stabbed in the heart? <laughs> now, where do we fit on his little fantasy chart? His little luck graph? I couldn't keep my eyes off the woman at the construction site. She was riveting. <laughs> I'm done, but I'm laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> well, I don't have an account there. <laughs> I'm serious. I go to cash my check. The lady says, how do you want this? Heads or tails? <laughs> Guy goes to the 
doctor. The doctor says, you have to stop masturbating. The guy says, why? The doctor says, because it's distracting me. <laughs> Hello, uh, Instagram folks, welcome well to the future. Get you guys with me, get you. You are on the Guinness Book of World Records for what? Most jokes told in one hour, 676, back in 1993. So, we don't have that kind of time, but I am betting that I can do more jokes in one minute than Geechee Guy. And I don't think he can. Let's find out. If an armless guy has a gun, is he armed? Where do homeless people have 95% of their accidents? My horse got shot and I had to break his leg. I would give my right arm to be ambidextrous. Sometimes I like to go to hockey games and throw ding-dongs out on the ice. I took a correspondence course in mime. They sent me six blank tapes. A guy goes uh, into a bar and, uh, and uh, asks for a double. The bartender brings out a guy who looks just like him. Um, uh, a chick, why did the shooting cross the road to get to the other side? Uh, why, did the, uh, why do um, firemen wear red suspenders instead of belts? Uh, in order to keep their uh, pants uh, up. 